Hi, I'm Sabrina. I'm a Kira Kira content creator. And today in this class, I'll show you how to create an iPhone 6 case using Tinkercad. The first thing we have to do is to create the box that represents the inside part of our case. To do it, we go through our Tinkercad library and we choose the box shape. We resize it with these dimensions that are the correct one for the, an iPhone 6. And here we have our first shape. The second step the corner rounded. To do it, we need to create a box and combine it with a cylinder. We resize the cylinder at 10 millimeters of diameter and we put the center of our cylinder aligned with the corner of our box. And when the alignment is done, we transform our cylinder in a hole and we group these two elements. So now, we have our fillet shape. The third step now is to transform our fillet shape in hole. So we select it and make hole. Now we create a copy pressing Alt and dragging. We mirror this copying using Adjust and Mirror and we select this direction. We create another copy of these two elements, so we select both of them, press Alt and drag. We mirror them again in this direction and we align them. The final step is to create the uh, very shape of our uh, iPhone case. So we select all our elements and group them. So this shape represents the inside part of our iPhone 6 case. Now we need to create a second shape to add some thickness to our case. So pressing Alt we create a copy of our first shape and we scale it and we make it a little bit big. Now we transform our first shape in a hole and we move it a little bit higher. Two millimeters are fine. Now we select both of them and we align them using the Adjust tool. Now we select again both our shapes and group. And our iPhone... A nice way to customize our case is to... Uh, this library with some extras and we are going to choose uh, the bunny ear to customize our case so we drag it we rotate it using this arrow we resize it um, choose using this corner and pressing shift and we move it down using this arrow don't worry if the ear goes through our um, case because we are going to fix it. Now we create a copy, pressing Alt and dragging, and we mirror it. And when we are satisfied, we are ready to create our customized case. First of all, we need to select our case and ungroup it. So now we have the whole shape, the case shape, and the ears shape. Now we select all our elements and group again. In this way, the whole shape is acting on the case, but also 